Sassy. Happy birthday, Sash. I'm screaming happy birthday. What's going on? Let's see what's going on. There's the King of Wands. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Book a personal reading. The half and half readings are on sale. Yada, yada, blah. Okay, thanks for being here, Sag. Let's get your message, okay? Thanks for trusting me with your energy. We start off with a little bit of Scorpio energy, okay? I feel like there's some kind of remnants from the past that someone's struggling to let go of, okay? Page of Pentacles, yeah, because there, there's something new here, Sag, that you're meant to be starting, a new path, starting fresh, new goals, okay? Could be school, um, could be a new job, a new relate, whatever it is. Like the Page of Pentacles is someone who's very studious. Like I'm willing to learn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn new skills. I'm gonna apply my skills. I'm gonna apply myself. I'm really focused, determined to be successful with whatever this opportunity is. Like I'm grateful. I'm thankful. But there's something here that somebody's struggling to let go of from their past. Okay. Yeah, the Eight of Cups is how the day ends. So, um, some progress for sure but the Eight of Swords is the overall energy, okay? Somebody feels tied to this, whatever this is. The Emperor, King of Swords, and the Empress. Is this a divorce? And there you are, the, the, the Knight of Wands. Hmm. It's interesting because in you could be dealing with the Scorpio, all right? There's a lot of different energy here. It's a general reading, you know? Um... But it's similar to their message that I just did in some ways. Like, like there's, you know, there may be some kind of legal situation here. Um, I mean, you literally have the Empress and the Emperor with that official King of Swords in between. I heard dominating, domination. Okay, dominatrix. What is the Seven of Cups? Thank you. For Sag. So someone may be separated or they're working on a separation or um, just a past relationship in general that was really significant. I feel like someone's working out the details of something. Okay, but something's clearly foggy. Yeah, somebody's tied in another situation. There's some kind of... Um, and it could be a practical aspect of life. Uh, I'm getting a vehicle. Yeah, the five of pentacles. So, so maybe for financial reasons, someone is still tied to another person or something like that. Okay, king of wands, the high priest. Yeah, and the three of wands. It's like, it's like we, we have to... We have to come to an agreement first or we have to work out this commitment first or get on the same page or something like that. What's the high priest? What's the hierophant? Hmm. What's the high priest, please, for sassy? I feel like I feel like if somebody has a court date today, um, that's sort of what we're tapping into. That was the high priestess. So yeah, a very, I mean, the high priest and the high priestess is, is, is a couple. Okay, there's some kind of tie. Maybe it's just a soul tie. Maybe it's a financial tie. But there's some kind of connection to the past here that someone is struggling to let go of. Queen of Cups, yeah, the Nine of Wands. There you are and the Magician. I do feel like whoever this is is working their way out of it. But it's showing up today as a point of contention or a conflict, okay? I'm going to leave it there.